mostly it was a series of um, southern politicians who seceded JFK. Uh, in public memory of association, free association, you're supposed to exclude the Southern Baptist queer wardens of Arkansas. But mostly with um, Southern bigots and Southern powers and Southern uh, feeders of choice. And um, they meant business when it came to the AIDS attack. They recruited, you know, um, black -o, um, Confederates. black -o Confederates were in the brainstorm, you know, sort of a huckster thing. They released AIDS and then free Nelson Mandela. The way they released COVID and then charged into the streets over Geo Floyd. It's a war on the public and the grannies, but in the name of social progress. You get the gizmo, it's a gizmo. You know, they sort of repeat what they did. You know, they eliminate JFK, but it was over Hiroshima, so we can get well from that. And then we bring in the Beatles. And Greta Thunberg is completely innocent of the murder of Cersei Kennedy, but they did the same thing. Storm and uh, Arnold stomped on Cersei and promoted Greta. And you're supposed to connect the dots. It's in the name of social progress. You can heal from that. So um, I sort of like to replay their old gizmology tapes. Now, when it comes to Russia, Failure to recognize what the Third Reich did to Russia was a major achievement of Kennedy's assassins, people like Alan Dulles. Failure to recognize Russian sacrifice for the entire civilized world at Stalingrad was a major achievement of the Dulles brothers and the Cold War warriors who reasserted their power and houdini hitler now when i got home from mount desert island there was an invasion of privacy crisis because the poachers wanted to justify testing so they superimposed they overdubbed they impinged on the persona's experience the idea of a, a, a soliloquy about date rape does she or does she not want me to make her and i ruled that she doesn't then left her alone. And they said, oh, he's a queer. He should be castrated for lack of performance, lack of manhood. And I argued that they were lying, that a woman has the right to be unmolested, no matter how close she comes to a man in intimacy. And they were, oh, you're crazy. We'll castrate you for that. They, they announced the virginity proves right. This is supposed to be black comedy about the um, queerization of American warriors, warriors, the queerization of American warriors by pale, white, liberal public schools, and so on. Well, they had escalation dominance. They blared me literally with, I heard a voice, zzzz, ultra high up in the sky came from Sony, Midori Goto was going to push you with the neuroplasm. So we know what they're capable of. And it's soul rape, right? Even Lewis Latham called it the rape of a human mind. So they obviously knew what they were doing. And this escalation superpower that Peter Gabriel came up with is in their minds a justified trap. They say Denuncio believed in afterlife after death and Pan believed in the afterlife after death. Therefore, those Germans on the Parthenon steps are our troops because they're the walrus, right? Because they both believe the same thing. There's a difference between believing in killing innocent people the way Weasler went after the Jews and defending innocent people. That's the difference between Denuncio and Patton, okay? And you can't make that congruent. 
because Gwener says that John Lennon really died and he died on behalf of the people who, who done it, who, who really done him in. And because they're all equal, it's a spoils fight. To the winner goes the spoils. And, and, that, and, that, and that's what they call connecting the dots. This is what they call connecting the dots. And she beams down from Star Trek with this major storyline of falsehood within falsehoods within falsehoods. It's not an enigma wrapped in a par paradox wrapped in hypocrisy alone. It's, it's not a metaphor for a metaphor, a metaphor alone. It's the victory of denuncio and Fayum Confederate counterfeiters. The Confederate counterfeiters came up with a with a with a, a whole heap of deception. They they called double fantasy. It had nothing to do with me. It beamed down from Star Trek on me and engulfed me. And she she wants to eradicate all the memories of Ray. I mean, the melon out to kill the memories of Ray. Authenticity disturbs them to no end. They wake up chewing the carpet. Authenticity will have none of this.